No, no way. No way. There is no, no way. Guys, this is an unbelievable yard. Well, good morning, everybody. It is 1030. On a Thursday morning, it's 41 degrees outside and a little windy and it's wet. So it's the only time I've got to go to tech and I'm headed out right now and I don't have far to go today. In fact, I'm just going right down the road, probably about a quarter of a mile. There's a house here in town, one of the older houses in my town. It's 110 years old. It's built in 1910. And I've hunted this house on uh, many occasions. I've hunted it with my AT Pro. I've hunted it with my uh, CTX 3030. And, uh, but there's some spots at the house that I have not hunted. There are some spots on the back where there was an old porch. I'll show that to you here pretty soon. And I'm pulling up right now. And uh, I'll show you the house and show you everything once I get parked. But uh, I haven't really gridded off the backyard. And in the very, very back, there's like a vacant lot, like an old house lot. And uh, looks like an old house might have been there. There's a big tree and everything. And uh, so I'm going to kind of get up in those woods and kind of hunt that as well. The only problem is I'm going to have a barking dog in my video the entire time. So hopefully he'll go leave me alone. All right, that's enough. Let me get out, get my cameras and set up and get the detectors ready. And I will show you what I'm going to do. And let's get at it. Before I get started, I want to show you the camera setup that I got going on. This is new. I bought this on uh, Amazon. And uh, it's set up to where there's a trigger. And when I pull this trigger, it pushes on top right there on the quick capture. And I can go ahead and film my finds with this camera. And at the same time, I can have a camera cutting back at me. And uh, so I don't have to have... I can do two cameras at the same time. And I can... Uh, I do that as far as getting some different angles. I've been trying to add different angles into my videos rather than just one uh, uh, personal, you know, point of view angle. Get some where you're kind of in the scene with me and you're around me and you can got to get a feel what I'm doing. All right, this is the kind of setup that I'm talking about. You can see me, but at the same time, I'm looking at the house over here in my viewfinder. So I get a double shot here. So without any further ado, let's uh, get the detector set up and let's get the swinging. All right, I'm going to uh, just run in park one today. And uh, ground balance is a negative eight. And uh, let's just leave the volume where it's at. The threshold, I'm not going to run a threshold. I'm target tone at five tones. Leave accept, reject where it's at. And I'm going to do my recovery speed at five. And that's pretty much where I'm going to do it. I'm going to run it in multiple frequency. And uh, I want to run my sensitivity down because there's a lot of iron in the ground here. And I'm going to start out with my 11 inch coil and then I'm going to switch over in just a little bit to my small, my six inch coil when I start doing that backyard, that back of that porch. So let's get to swinging. Guys, y'all not going to believe this. I've just come from my truck right there and just swung up this way. I'm trying to get back here. As you can see that big tree. And I think this is an old house site back here. And I've never detected this. I've detected right in here with like a trash pile, but never in this area. And my first target was a 3135, I mean 31 to a 30. And look at that. My first target is going to be a silver 19, that 3045, 1945. Uh, Washington quarter. How about that? You can't beat that, can you? Wow. First target. Set that down right there. Let's get some, uh, this may be a good day. Let's uh, get some pictures and let's keep on going. All right, let's get a, a very deep, look how deep this is. You hear the signal down there. This is eight inches deep. Uh, it was jumping around. I was barely getting it. It's like a, up to a 24 and uh, just jumping around very deep. And uh, I like it when they're deep like this. Let's see what we get here. Ah, look, did y'all see that? You look in there, look. Look right there in the coin ball. That is a barber, folks. That is a barber. That is, oh, this is going to be a great day. I'm telling you what, this back lot is going to be super, super good. I know it's an old house site. 
This house was built in 1910, and this is a 1914 Barber Dime. All right, let's uh, let's get my other camera. We'll get a close up on this. All right, check that out. Let's uh, pluck it together. All right, look at that imprint. I love it when it does that. 1914 Barber Dime. Wow, this is, as Nugget Noggin would say, unbelievable. My second target. Well, I've dug a can and some other pieces of trash, but this is my second good target. All right, let's set it up here. Let's get some pictures and let's keep on going. All right, check this out. 21 at about four to six inches. I just got my uh, barber right there. 21, 22, six inches deep. Let's uh, let's live dig this and see what it is. Let's see if I can do this with this new camera setup. I got it attached to my collar, so let me take that off. This ground is very, very soft. Good sandy soil. Oh, good sandy soil. Uh, there's something right there, but there's something else. Something else in the hole. Let's see what that is. That must be a little piece of trash because I can't see it, but it's green. Oh, what is that? That is an Indian, guys. Ah, ha. 1908 Indian head right beside the 1914 Barber Dime. Oh, wow. This is too This is one of those hunts that you just... I've dug a piece of trash, dug my barber dime there, dug a piece of trash right there, and now got me an Indian, guys. I got me an Indian. That's just unbelievable. All right, let's uh, get some pictures and keep going. This is gonna be a good day. Well, check this out. I'll just give you some reference. Right back over there is where I dug that Indian and that barber, and I'm just working myself up this uh, tree line. And you can see the old tree right there the old tree right over there this looks like well, there was houses in here at one time and uh, just pop this up you know what that is if the relic rangers is watching he always digs those Washington State tokens and calls the Illuminati this is the Illuminati that is a a um, Louisiana tax token that's a good find I'll take that any day though hey let's keep on going there's stuff in here to be found getting a solid 11 13 six inches deep let's go see what it is well a lot of trash out here so i tried to do live digs and i was going to do a live dig on that one but i found a piece of trash in this hole so i thought that was it and then i dug down and popped it out look at this that looks like a nickel and that's going to be that looks like that's going to be a more nickel Let's see, yeah. That is going to be a war nickel. What year is that? 19, I don't, I can't tell with my glove on. 1943? 1943. I can't tell. I'll have to tell you at the wrap up. Hey, all right. That's pretty good. And I'm not uh, too far away from where I found that token. There, you can't tell on camera, but I dug that token right, right there. But there is a ridge running across the ground right there. And I want to say this is the front yard out here. 
and so uh, my other camera messed up the card it's got a I gotta get a new card and so I'm gonna stop and go back to the truck get my other camera hook it up and then I'll come back and start keep on digging so let's keep on going all right went back to the truck got a new battery I don't know something happened to my SD card it's not formatting and it's not uh, recording and it says it's got to be repaired I have no clue anyway there's my buddy again walking back up here to this vacant lot back here anxious to get to that big old tree right back there I'm gonna crawl up in those woods and see if there's anything out there so all right I'm back at my detector let's get this way now that's what you like to see right there 37 34 31 I'm about four inches deep so uh, let me unhook myself here lay down my detector and uh, we'll see what this is going to be together probably trash there's a lot of melted aluminum in here there's my phone never fails all right you'll just have to wait I gotta answer my phone all right sorry about that guys I uh, I have one of my church members passed away uh, two days ago with COVID-19 and so it struck close to home and people are calling and uh, so sorry about that phone call and uh, so I uh, got it uncovered still let's uh it's right down there no no way no way there is no no way Guys, this is an unbelievable yard. This was an old house site. Check this out. That is a walking Liberty half dollar. 19, oh, can't hold on to it. This is unreal. You dream about days like this. We don't get them all the time. 1934. Walking Liberty half dollar. Check that out. Wow. A scream in 30, what was it, a 31, 34, up to 38 signal? Only about, uh, oh, I don't know, four inches deep? All right, let me get my other camera. Check that out. 1934 Walker. I haven't dug a Walker in a while. Man, got a barber and a Walker. Who, what else is out here today? There's no telling. Isn't that beautiful? This is good sandy dirt. Look at that. Coins come out of the, the sand looking so good. It's like in that football field that we've been digging in. 13, 1934 Walker. I think I'm going to go live on Instagram with that one. Let's do it. You know what they always say. Recheck your holes. You know why that thing was jumping up to a 39, a 38, down from a 31? Could this thing have sisters? Definitely something else in the hole. Tell you what, this has been a phenomenal day so far. Where'd it go? Right there. Wow. Must be trash. I don't know. If I find it, I'll come back to it. All right, guys. I've been chasing this thing down for about the last three minutes, and I'm wore out. Look at my hole. And I scooped it out, and look at that. That's gonna be another silver. And it's gonna be nice. Can you see the date on it? Uh, 1939. 1939 to go with that 1934 walker 
Well, I'll take that every day, any day. All right, this is unbelievable. Let's keep going. Right out that outcropping right there is where I got that walker and that uh, mercury. It came up here and just working myself toward these big trees over here. And I got a good 24 to a 28 jumping around. I can see the edge of it. It's not gonna be a silver coin, maybe another token. What is that? Oh, I know what that is. That's a uh, 1930s, I believe, Cracker Jack token is what that is. If I'm not mistaken, I see the face on it. Turned it over, it's gonna have some writing there. And it's gonna say Cracker Jack down there on the writing on the bottom. We'll clean it up later on. So, yeah, this is definitely a good house site. And I haven't even begun to touch having done any of the center part of the yard. And so there was no barn in the woods right over here. And so it's uh, it's one of those sites that you, you stumble upon. This is right down the road. I've hunted the house, but I've never really come back out here. And I want to get in those woods. I may come back next week and finish up in these woods. So uh, let's keep on going. All right, I got the 19 here. And uh, Got a nice old key. All right, dig some old relics out of here. So you got a number on it. A master. Oh, that's old. Look at the script on that. That's cool. All right, I just got a 2627, kind of that high tone that you like to hear. Just popped it up, and that's going to be a nice little rosy. Not old like I want, but hey, I'll take a rosy any day. I can't see the uh, date on that. So, rub that rosy a little bit. 1954, maybe? 1954? Hey, I'll take that. All right, let's keep on going. All right, guys, I was just getting a 1213 uh, signal here, about uh, six to eight inches deep, and uh, just pulled it up. And it's going to be. Buffalo. Buffalo nickel. I like those buffaloes. I've been digging those here lately. In that football field, I've dug two of them, and here's my third one. All right, let's get pictures and let's keep on going. Well, it's been a while since uh, my last target. I've dug a lot of trash out here. I had to go make a phone call, and so I took a little lunch break, came back, and back out here in the same field, just working back over here where I found there's a lot of trash out here, melted aluminum. Lots of trash. I was getting a 2324 signal. Thought I'd dig it anyway. And this is what I got. That is going to be. What is this going to be? Uh, something Ford. I can't. I can't tell what that's going to be. Something, maybe like a, uh, something Ford, maybe a token, key tag, I don't, I don't know. It's not, it's real light, real aluminum. I will clean it up later on and uh, get a close-up of it at the wrap-up. All right, let's keep going. Well, I'm still out here in the back and uh, got a 28 to a 32, jumping up and down, about eight inches deep, really good. I got it down the bottom of the hole and I've dug one of these out here before. So check this out. <sighs> You know what that is? Give you a hint. I know exactly what it is. This is my fifth one that I have dug out of here. That is going to be a, a great seal button. A great seal button. This is the second one I've dug out of this area, and I've dug three up around the house. So apparently, well, could, this very well could be World War I, though, being a 1910 home. And uh, every one of these have been like the big coat buttons, not the small buttons, but the big coat buttons. This is the fifth one, the second one out of here. I dug one earlier, oh, I guess it's been about three or four years ago, and uh, I'm, it's, it was right in this area, too. And uh, so, goes to show you, you never 
never dug out, is it? All right, let's keep on going. Well, I've got my six inch coil on now and uh, I'm gonna go up work this uh, back porch area. You can see here how there was an old uh, sidewalk, it was actually a boardwalk. And I've been kicking, I found a, a penny here and I got a signal right over here. And uh, let me turn my detector on after putting the coil, coil on. I'm getting a lot of trash. So I'll kick this board up right here and I got a signal right there. 27, 35, probably picking up nails and At least a 35 to a 27 so i have no clue let's uh live dig this one and see what we come up with if i can roots right there root right in the middle splitting my shovel wow this is hard holding the camera so uh, let me unhook it from <sighs> oh looky there looky there there we go that is a silver ring. Pretty tarnished out though. That's not bad. Right underneath this boardwalk here. Let's uh, put it right there. Maybe you can see a little bit better pick. Let me get my other camera. And we'll get a better All right, it's not the prettiest ring, but uh, definitely is Mark 925. You can see it's uh, pretty tarnished out. Uh, my first target with a six inch coil. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna kick the rest of these boards up and see if there's anything else underneath these boards. All right, that's a nice find. Let's get some pictures and let's keep on going. I didn't find anything up at the house but a penny and trash in that ring. And uh, just got a 13, 12, 13. And dug it up and it's just gonna be a regular nickel. Why am I showing you a clad nickel? Because on this nickel, I've got a war nickel and a buffalo nickel, so I've got a nickel trifecta now. Wow, what a day. It's cold, I'm, I'm wrapping it up. My battery on my pro, pro, uh, pro pointer died and I had a backup battery and it died. And I'm tired. I've been out here for about four, four or five hours. And uh, boy, I'm tired and it's cold. But man, what a day, what a day that I had. You know, you always dream of these types of days. You hunt all the time, you don't get them. And you know, this is a house that I have hunted with my AT Pro, AT Max, and CTX, but I've never hunted the back really, really good. I've gone over it real quick, but never hunted the back. And that's where I found everything, except uh, I found one ring and a penny up here by the house and just too much trash. And so I left and went back and, uh, but man, what a day. Let me spin you around. Let me show you everything that I found. All right, that's like I said, in that field out there is an old home site, and there's a lot of trash. Some of this is my trash from today, but all that trash, digging all these house parts up, uh, melted lead. I threw the big pieces of melted lead over in the woods. I didn't want to put it in my bag and weigh me down. But there's my trash for the day. Here's what I found. I got four pennies. I got one key. That is a... A very old master key. Check that out. Look at their script on that. I want to research and see how old that is. Found, uh, I think this is go, goes to a tractor. I think it's a tractor uh, keychain or something like that on a tractor. I'm going to look at that a little bit better. And uh, new Ford Select. Looks like an old tractor gear or something right there. I'm not really certain what that is. That's a neat little find. Good little relic. Found a Cracker Jack token, that's indicative of the 30s. Uh, Louisiana tax token, that's indicative of the 30s and late 20s. And uh, that's most likely that's going to be the same time period. I did get, this is my fifth Great Seal button. This is a 
uh, coat button and I've gotten three up by the house and two out in that field and and uh, so they're out there and there may be more out here I did get a pretty ugly silver ring but uh, silver ring nonetheless underneath that board that's a nice find I got me a nickel trifecta I got a buffalo nickel and I think I'm gonna be able to get a date off of that hang on let me uh, let me see if I can zoom in on it 1917 what it looks like 1917 1943 uh, war nickel and I got me a Jefferson so I got my I got my nickel trifecta I got a 1945 uh, wheat penny and then I got this oh uh, what was that 1904 or 1908 uh, last real close to being the last year of the Indian heads let me clean it up a little bit and let's see 1908 lot looks like to me 1908 so one more year 1909 and then I forgot all about this one I got a dime trifecta along with the nickel trifecta and I got a 53 rosy and uh, I think that was like a 39 Merc I don't know let's see if we can zoom in 39 Merc and a 14 Barber so there's a kind of a mix of old stuff and new stuff, uh, newer stuff. I got all my coins are like in the 30s. Check that out, 1935 quarter. And then the find of the day, you ready? Check it out, 34 Walker. 34 Walker. I can't believe, it's been a while since I dug a Walker. Those are beautiful coins. Got good toning on it. And uh, so there it is, folks. One, two, three, four, five. Five silver coins and a silver ring, and a, well, six silver coins when you add that nickel. Two tokens, and a couple of more knickknack things. So, there's all the trash, and there's all the treasure. And like I say, the greatest treasure is not what you can find in a 1910 home. Uh, the greatest treasure what you can find up in heaven, my friends. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting. God bless. came back out to this same uh, place I was out here uh, yesterday in that vacant lot where I found all those coins and I had about an hour and a half to spare and uh, so I just thought I'd come out here and kind of dig all types of signals and uh, lo and behold I found another silver dime it's a baby dime 1964 Rosie but it was ringing up a solid 26 and it sounded like a wheat penny because I dug a wheat penny right here beside it so I dug it up and uh, let me turn you around let me show you what I got it is guys I thought it was going to be a wheat penny so I dug a wheat penny right over there and uh, sure enough 1964 Rosie yeah can't believe that all right I didn't even bring my pouch or, or anything I just out here piddling around and uh, got a little tarnish on it all right let's keep on there may be another one out here somewhere I missed some <laughs>